it is it's important to bear in mind that a mela karta or a, or a mela is only a scale it is not a raga it's just a combination of notes it's a certain combination of all the seven swaras that is what a mela is the name of the most prominent raga that can be classified under it so that that is the name that is given to the mela karta and um, as long as as long as um the the attempt was only to take care of the existent ragas and not just worry about the uh, number of permutations possible so long as musicologists addressed only the ragas that were actually prevalent the uh, issue of naming these melakartas was fairly simple they just followed this they just um gave it the name of the most prominent raga that could be classified under that mela now when uh, the uh, the idea of trying to propound the number of mela kartas possible even when there was no raga to classify under it there was no raga that was actually prevalent which could be classified under some of these mela kartas so then the issue of naming these mela kartas um had to be addressed in fact venkat makin himself did not name all the 72 mela kartas he only named about 19 of them and uh, these are the these are the names that he gave and then later on um other musicologists came and uh, they they completed the picture by giving names to all the mela kartas and um, in fact uh, govind dikshit in his uh, work he he applied the katapayadi system um the katapayadi uh, system of naming um the the mela kartas now this is actually uh, an ancient system of uh, mapping uh, names to numbers um but because of this scheme if we have the name of a mela karta any mela karta for instance let us say kiravani we can figure out the n- number of the mela karta so let me explain this katapayadi katapayadi actually refers to groups of alphabets in devanagari sanskrit kata pa ya these are these refer to four groups of the alphabets this is one way of grouping the alphabets precisely for the purpose of this uh mapping of names to numbers now those of you who are familiar with devanagari would have no difficulty but this is devanagari alphabets for you k kh g gh ng it let me just write it as ng here but this is the sound that uh we find in words like kankana or uh or khunghuru the nasal that is before any of these alphabets has the sound now the next is ch these are the first five alphabets the next five are ch ch j j again this is a nasal which is unpronounceable 
but this is a sound that you hear in words like chanchala or jhanj and so on the nasal that precedes any of these letters is this so kacha then you have ta ta tha da dha na this is let's say this is one this is two this is na like for instance um thanda in hindi na or um, kantha in sanskrit there is na here then you have ta ta tha this is ta tha now this is ta tha da dha as you can see it is difficult to write these in in english these are the various sounds that sanskrit alphabet recognizes this is ta ta da dha na this is the regular na n the sound of n then you have pa pha ba bha ma again ma is straight forward ma then you have ya ra la va and three varieties of sh, sa it is sh and then you have sh this is sh this is sh and s and h now k the k varga is actually k kh ga gha na the ch varga is ch ch jh j na and so on but for this katapaya this scheme we group these two together and these two together this is a separate group and then this is a separate group so this group starts with k so this is the k group then this group starts with t so k t k t so these two form one group and they are given numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and the 10th is a zero please remember we are trying to map names to numbers now again t will start with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 1 2 3 4 5 so we have taken of ka ta pa these three group these three groups we have taken care of now ya 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are the these are how the alphabets are numbered for purposes of this uh this scheme katapayati now let us take the name of any mela karta let us say we just saw kiravani now for the mapping of this name to a number only the first two syllables are relevant so in this case and it doesn't matter whether it's ki or ka or ku whatever it's just the the sound the basic consonant that is relevant here it is k and r now let us look at the numbers for k k is 1 and ra is 2 once we have these two numbers we have to reverse the digits so we have 12 you actually have 21 would be the number of kiravani 
So if you look at the Melakartha scheme, the 21st Melakartha will be Kiravadi. Now let us look at see how it works for some other Melakarthas. Um, let me take the the eleventh. Let me take the eleventh chakra. The male kartas are Kanta Mani. There are sixty one. The sixty first male karta is Kanta Mani. So that the syllables are K and Ta. K and Ta not the, the. Look at ka is 1 again, the is 6. So, it has become 61. Now, this system, Katapiyaji system has actually been used in other disciplines such as astrology and it is a very uh, convenient way of um, Remembering it is a mnemonic device more than anything, and it has an interest in its own right. Now, the, the uh, interesting aspect of uh, this is that the Melakata scheme is that suppose we look at the 29th Melakarta, that is actually the Shankara Bharanam scale. It is Shankara Bharanam. Note Sha and Ka. Sha is 6. Sha is 6 and Ka is 1. You will absolutely not get 29. You cannot get 29. So, for the purposes of this Katapayadi scheme, the 29th scale, though it is the Shankarabharanam scale, it is called Dhira Shankarabharanam. So, you have a prefix so that the Katapayadi scheme is taken care of. So, let us look at how this works Dha and Ra. Dha is Ta Ta Da Dha 9 and Ra is 2, 92 and you reverse it to become, becomes 29. There are a few other Ragas, uh, Melakartas also which have taken on this kind of a prefix in order to accommodate the Katapayadi scheme. Notably Mecha Kalyani, Kalyani is the, Kalyani is the 65th Melakarta. The 65th Melakarta, in other words, the 65th Melakarta is actually the, the Swaras of Kalyani. Kalyani is a major raga, so the Melakarta would be given that name. But if you say Kalyani, Ka is 1, Ya is 1, so you cannot get 65. So the 65th Melakarta is called Mecha Kalyani. Look at what is Ma. Ma is 5. Cha. Cha is 6. 56, if you reverse it, becomes 65. So, that is the Katapiyadi scheme.